Hello there, let's get some more practice with factorising quadratics. And I've put more fun here because we had quite a lot of fun in the previous video, but uh, let's carry that on over into this video. So we're going to factorise 3x squared plus x minus 4. So if you can remember back, factorise quadratics where the coefficient on the x squared term is greater than 1. We need to find two numbers that have a product of negative 12, because that's 3 times negative 4, and a sum of this number here. Now at the moment we've just got plus, but that's plus 1x. Okay, we just don't write the 1x, we just write plus x. So that's just 1. So two numbers that multiply together to get negative 12 and add together to get 1. So those two numbers are going to be 4 and negative 3. 4 times negative 3 is negative 12 and 4 minus 3 is 1. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this expression, but instead of writing plus x, I'm going to write plus 4x minus 3x. So here we go, and the reason why I've put the negative 3x first and the positive 4x after is because it makes it easier to factorise because now I've grouped these 3s together and these 4s together. So you could have put plus 4x minus 3x, but I think this is just the easier way around to do it. So I can split this expression up into two parts now. If I focus on this part in black, I can factor out a 3x from this part of my expression. And then in my brackets, I'm just going to be left with x minus 1. And now if I focus on this part of my expression, I can factor out a 4. So I can factor out a positive 4. And then inside my brackets, I'm going to be left with x minus 1. And lo and behold, I've got x minus 1 here and x minus 1 here. So we know we've done it correctly. So I can factor out an x minus 1 from both terms. So if I factor out an x minus 1 from both terms, then I'm just going to be left with 3x plus 4. 3x plus 4. And we can check to see if we've done it correctly by expanding the brackets, but I'll let you do that if you want a bit of practice on expanding brackets. So why don't you have a go at this one? So pause the video and see if you can factorise this quadratic expression here. So let's go through this now. We need to find two numbers that have a product of 7 times negative 3, which is negative 21, and a sum of this number here, which is just 20. So what two numbers are they? Well, the numbers we're going to use are going to be 21 and negative 1. If we just check that, 21 times negative 1 is negative 21, and 21 minus 1 is 20. So I'm going to rewrite this expression. Instead of writing 20x, I'm going to write 21x and then minus x. So now I've rewritten the expression, I can break it down into two parts. So if I focus on this black part first, then we can factor out a 7x. And then in our brackets, we're just left with x plus 3. And now if I focus on this part in maroon, I can factor out a negative 1. So that's all I can factor out, a negative 1. And I'm left with x plus 3. And just to make sure, negative 1 times x is negative x, and negative 1 times 3 is negative 3. And just like before, I've got an x plus 3 here and an x plus 3 here, so I've got the same expression in both terms. I can factor that out, x plus 3, and then in my other bracket, I'm just going to be left with 7x minus 1. And we're done. So I told you it was going to be fun, so let's do another one. Pause the video and have a go at factorising this expression here. So we need to find two numbers that have a product of negative 36, because that's 3 times negative 12, and two numbers that have a sum of negative 16. So the numbers I can think of that are going to work are going to be negative 18 and positive 2. And you can just check that if you want. So let's rewrite our original expression. And again, I put the 18x with the 3x, because that factors quite nicely, and I put the 2x with the 12. So if we focus on this part first, we can factor out a 3x. And then in my brackets, I'm left with x minus 6. Now if I look at this part, I can factor out just a 2, so a positive 2. And then in my brackets, I'm left with x minus 6. So we've got the same term, in, or the same expression in both terms. I can factor that out. So if I factor out an x minus 6, and then all I'm left with is 3x plus 2. I think we'll do a couple more. So again, pause the video. Okay, so this one here, we need two numbers that have a product of positive 20 and a sum of positive 9. And it looks like those two numbers are going to be 4 and 5. 4 and 5. 
So if we rewrite our expression and we focus on this part of our expression, we can factor out a 5x. And then in our brackets, we've got 2x plus 1. And then let's look at the maroon part. So we can factor out just a 2. So a positive 2, and we're left with 2x plus 1 again. So now we've got the same expression. We can factor that out. So if we factor out 2x plus 1, and we're left with 5x plus 2, and we're done. So for this one, we need two numbers that have a sum of 9 times negative 5, which is negative 45 and a product of negative 12. So what numbers are those going to be? So it looks like we're going to have negative 15 and positive 5. Negative 15 and, oh sorry, negative 15 and positive 3. Negative 15 times 3 is negative 45, negative 15 plus 3 is negative 12, and that, that's correct. So if we now rewrite our expression, and we focus on this part in black, so we can factor out 3x, and then inside our brackets we've got 3x plus 1. And now the maroon part, it's quite a nice colour actually. So we can factor out a negative 5. And then in our brackets all we're left with is 3x plus 1. So the home stretch, we can, factor, we can factor out this part. So we can factor out a 3x plus 1 from both terms. And we are left with 3x minus 5. So thanks for watching. I hope you had as much fun factorizing those quadratics as I did. And I'll see you soon.